I've had a request to demonstrate how to lay down a decent quad mesh on a, a part like this. You notice the CAD system has a bunch of extra uh, cuts and lines in it that when you look at the part really kind of aren't uh, necessary, especially from a fine element standpoint. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how I do this. It's basically going to use some of the stuff from our meshing toolbox. Uh, the first thing I think I'll do is I'll just cut this guy in half. So I'm working with uh, you know the top and then the bottom we'll do separately. Uh, so let me change this to global plane. It's X, Y. Let me pick a point on the plane and just cut this guy. And you'll see here what I'm going to do is just turn off uh, one half. We'll just work on this top half. Now the trick a lot of times with meshing something like this is just kind of get uh, various regions combined into more rectangular type areas. So you know the first thing I see here kind of looking at this is there's a section here with a bunch of little cuts into it, but it really should be kind of flat. Uh, there's a bunch of tools in here, and there's no real hard and firm rule what to do, but basically I can do a lot of you know cutting and combining and make things into more rectangular sections. So right now I've got a nice rectangular section there. I can use the multi-surface tool and just put things together like this. And then the other thing we can do is to try to avoid little short curves is actually combine curves together. So at this point, you know, I've got a really nice little rectangular surface that's going to mesh uh, just fine. Now let's let's just keep going with that idea here and, and try to combine some of this stuff together. Uh, let's just hmm, let's continue this cut here. And just we can just work him around. There's a point to edge tool where I can come and just work my way down this guy. And I basically actually <laughs> I'm adding more splits, but you know, kinda just a little slightly more organized than the ones that are all over this guy. So now I've got kind of that area. Let's uh let's just do this. And I go point to point here and I can go from there to there. So now I got a couple you know better areas to put together. Uh, I'm going to put this together into an area, this into an area, and I think we'll get a much better mesh. So get us right back into the combined surface tool, and I can just walk my way across this stuff. And I got all that put together. Uh, same thing down here. Put this together into a decent mesh, meshable area. Um, I think we'll make this all one patch. So he's all one, and do the same thing here, put that all together. And you see we kind of just got better, nicer areas for meshing that kind of still represent the curvature and shape of the structure. Uh, one of the things you want to be uh, wary of or looking for is, you know, let's go and make sure we get as many of these curves combined as well, and we'll just, we'll just have a lot more uh, mesh control that way. Let me see if we got any others. Yeah, I got a bunch around here. I, I can make this all into one curve and do the same thing here. A couple short guys in there. And we also want to look for any, and I've meshed this once before, so I know there's a little sliver down here. Get rid of him and work that up. And at this point, I think we've got something that will mesh pretty well. Might as well put these together too. There we go. So now um, it's not going to get much better than that. Let's go ahead and lay down a mesh on this. So I'll say mesh, mesh control size on surface, and just select everybody for now. Let's just go with one, two, five, and then we'll lay a mesh on this thing. I'll say mesh geometry surface, and pick these guys. And we're just doing part of the part now, but I think you get the idea how to do the whole thing. And I'll just lay down some plot-only elements now to take a look at this. Uh, there's one surface mesh, two, three, four. Oh, I got the edges turned off. Let me turn the filled edges on. There we go. So there's our mesh. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I'll turn the surfaces off for a second. Turn on the element uh, quality here, and we'll see that uh, we got one or two little elements that are slightly below our default quality checks, which are actually pretty stringent. One game you could play here is in the meshing toolbox. There's also the surface meshing. And we can set that size that we've been using, one, two, five. And I could tell it to force a map mesh on this, this region here. 
and you'll see that it comes in and actually it's going to put more elements along here but it's going to it's going to force a, a fan uh, matte mesh on there so you can see you can get now just an absolutely perfect mesh so it's kind of up to you what you want to do uh, you know, this area is pretty rectangular so we can we could uh, change him also and lay down a matte mesh on him and you can't matte mesh everything and if I pick them both at the same time or right, let's get all three of these there's a chance that all three of them if if, if the algorithm can figure it out will lay down a, a connected matte mesh across the whole piece so we'll just let it take a shot at that and see what it comes up with Uh, looks like it got it. So I mean, we we can actually lay down just about a a, a good a mesh as you possibly uh, can.